that, they would scream bloody murder. But we're watching, you know, Coldplay or we're watching, you know, because they're doing all those crazy things. You just don't notice it because it's good. It's free. Right? Okay. Real reactions, please. How did it feel? What was your response? More entertaining. More entertaining. Yeah. Yes? I was wondering if he could do the song again, but sing it lower. <coughs> yeah. You, uh, do you have a capo on there? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we'll do that in a second. Very good idea. Can you lower it a whole step? Okay. Um, more. Other than it being something that it would seem would come natural to right. a person. And that is well, a overemphasis. Correct. And that's what you've got to do. Because it isn't natural. You haven't done it before. Play two, play two bars of it, no intro. Just play, play one, uh, one verse yeah. of it. A long time ago, I was old. You are my Okay, good, good. Now, I want you to follow the physical pattern that you did in the last song at the same tempo you did it in the last song while you're playing that. Change the tempo. Don't change the tempo. You are all I have. What? What did you see? What did you see besides him being confused? I gave up. It was fun again. He was happy. Yeah. He took off what I call the idea blanket. I believed it. Yes, I did too. I believed it. Okay? Because he took off the idea blanket. There's charm. Okay? We don't always, when we talk about sad situations, we're not all like this. But the idea blanket I, it is, if you imagine a bunch of different objects on the floor, can okay, you take a uh, blanket and you throw it over it? Well, you know, you see some bumps, but you really don't know what's there. You pull back, back the blanket, oh, it's a candlestick and a clock and uh, a ball and, oh, look at that, a Raggedy Annie doll, you know? But if I put a blanket of sad song over it, bye bye. Get the point? That's the way it works. Okay? Now, part of the issue is your technical skill in this area does not match up your being freedom. You bring it free. Yeah. Okay? And I saw that even in the first time he did it, because his strum didn't lock and hold like like the big boys do. Yeah. Yeah. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing about it? Um parts of trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Let's now go into how you practice that. Okay. Hold the first chord of the song, please. This, the same one. No, the first one. The first one. Okay. Okay. And do the strum for a minute. But don't change chords. Don't change chords. Breathe. Okay, now, see how he keeps looking at me? What I want him to do is go into a space I call focus, uh, um, internal focus, where you have your eyes open, but you are in internal kinetic memory space. Okay? So don't look at me. Don't look at them. Eyes open, but you're feeling it. You're listening to the rhythm. You're trying to experience the solidity of that. Mm. Go ahead. Okay, sit in the chair, please, while you're doing it. Breathe. Big inhale and exhale. stiff, etc., etc. Pocket. Pocket. Exactly. That's the difference between the big boys and most of us. That's good to great. Okay? So, if he did that for 10 minutes, 
every day for two weeks, he would be a changed person. He would never feel that strong the same way as he feels it today. Stand up here, last thing. Okay? And plant your feet firmly. You're going to stand like this. And you cannot pick your hand, you pick your feet up. You cannot do that. Period. Okay, do that strong. Good, that breath is very important. You see how he just released his conscious hold on everything. So you need to know immediately 
that your songs are to be delivered to. Yeah. Okay? It's subtle, but you'll see how these subtle things make a difference. All right. So, um, the next thing is, um, uh, and how did you feel? You, you were saying you tried not to, and then you, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, as the song went on, I tried to, uh, I tried to be comfortable in my own body. That seems to be kind of the thing that is very physiological that you need to overcome. It's just your body throws curveballs at you, and okay. you're trying to dodge them at the same time. Well, it, you know, like that's. I, you know, for, at some point I kind of wanted to walk around. I just wanted to get up. Why didn't you? Because my strap wasn't on. I didn't have my strap on. <laughs> okay. I didn't have my strap on. All right. And uh, I, but I, and I wish I did. Okay. So my, uh, All right. So here we go. Let's go into this here now. All right. So um, if he's thinking, if his thoughts are. I feel uncomfortable, let me try to get comfortable. Let me try to get away from these uncomfortable feelings in my body. What is he not thinking about? Correct. What causes emotional reactions in our body? Thoughts. Tremendously. They're the precursors to emotional reactions. So we need to know whether those thoughts are supporting us or undermining us. Literally that. So let's go into the lyrics. You've seen this a million times. You walked into quadrant number two. But let's go into the lyrics um, and find out what you're uh, what you're singing about. So I want you to just tell me up up through the chorus. Yeah. Just say the lyrics. Uh, met a girl with a heart so right I could let her in mine, and she makes it better. Never thought I would fall so hard again. Ever since you've been gone, uh, and I love how she. Oh, ever since you've been gone. At, Thank you. Hello. Okay. So, all right. But this is my point. If you want to be great, do you want to be able to be? Do you want to be able to be stopped? If you are already great and you can't do that, then why mess with it? Fine. You know, if you got it going on, this is not. You should not do this because you know you win an award. You should do this if you're not where you want to be and you want to be further. Yes. Steve, um, can I get some feedback as a listener? Uh, actually, hold on, just because the time is so just short. One quick thing. Sure. As a listener, I found it very disturbing that his shoulder on his left side was all the Okay. I mean, and I didn't even right. hear the Alright, let me, let me, let me, let me, good. So, let me tell you something. You cannot control the audience. Another memo was on. Okay? <laughs> so, there's a perfect example. Was anybody else disturbed I like by that? Actually. I thought I was distracting, but it was okay. I okay, how many people did not even notice it? How many people noticed it but didn't care? Okay, how many people cared? <laughs> you, ever hear, you ever hear the term, I had the audience in the palm of my hand? Guess what? You're fucking dreaming. <laughs> You do not have the guy, even though he's listening, he's going, but that guy put his damn shirt on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Leave the audience alone. Leave them alone. Deal with your stuff. Leave them alone. Okay? So, all right. 